Hey everyone, it's January 28th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with Japanese serial killer Yoshio Kodaira. Uh, and that is him right up there. Kodaira was born in Tokyo in 1905 and had a stutter as a child. The son of a violent alcoholic, he frequently got into trouble at school and barely graduated before becoming an apprentice metal worker. He was unable to maintain steady work, and after he fathered a child of his own at the age of 18, he joined the Imperial Navy to get out of having to help raise his kid. In 1928, he was involved in the Jinan Incident, killing six Chinese soldiers. The Jinan Incident was a clash between Chinese and Japanese forces sparked by efforts to unify China while uh, Japan was occupying parts of the country. Kodaira had already developed a reputation as being a harsh member of the Japanese occupying force, raping and killing countless Chinese civilians. When recounting one case, he said, Four or five of my comrades and I entered a Chinese home, tied up the father, and locked him in the closet. We stole their jewelry and raped the women. We even bayoneted a pregnant woman and pulled out the fetus from her stomach. By 1932, he was back in Japan and out of the Navy, and he married the daughter of a Shinto priest. They had a rough marriage, frequently fighting, leading to an incident where he used an iron bar to beat his father-in-law to death. He was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor, but was released in 1940 when Japan was trying to maximize its resources during the Second World War. He worked at a naval facility and would often spy on his female co-workers, escalating to an incident when he raped and killed one of them in 1945. He hid her body next to an air raid shelter, and with frequent bombing raids, it was easy to hide the fact that she had been murdered. Seeing that he could get away with murder, he decided to do it again, and again, and many more times, killing seven more women over a span of eight months. Having wiped out the entire female workforce at his place of business, he moved on to other women in the area, buying women he met on the street small gifts, attempting to woo them. Kodaira visited a 17-year-old girl in her home, giving his full name to her parents when he picked her up for a date. When the young woman went missing, the police were alerted. Her nude body was found a few days later with a second body found nearby. With help from his victim's parents... The, authority, the authorities finally had a good lead, and they picked Kodaira up. He confessed to committing at least seven murders in Japan, along with many others during his time in China. He had also raped 30 women who survived his attacks and committed acts of necrophilia with some of his victims. He was convicted and sentenced to death in 1948, being hanged at Miyagi Prison in 1949. There is some speculation that Kodaira was at least in part inspired by his time in the military, his view of women being affected by incidents such as the rape of Nanking, where 300,000 civilians were killed, and tens of thousands of girls and women were raped, all sanctioned by the Japanese military. If this was your birthday, I hope you had a great day. If uh, you know somebody whose birthday it is today, please send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Yoshiro Kodaira, I have to say, happy birthday, you bastard.